Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of our animal series here on storybee.space and today we're going to be learning everything about horses which is very exciting for me because horses are actually one of my favorite animals. Let's jump right in. Onto the first page there is only one species of domestic horse however there are more than 500 different breeds worldwide. Horses have been humans' best friends since 5,000 years ago. So if you thought a dog was a man's best friend, well, you'd be wrong, because horses are also one of the humans' best friends. Horses can run within hours after birth, and they can usually run more than 50 kilometers per hour in their adulthood. Wow, that is a long distance, and it's so surprising how they can run so soon after being born. When I was a baby, I couldn't even walk for months after I was born, and I'm sure it's the same case with you. But horses, they have strong legs and their adaptability skills allow them to run soon after birth and just run free in the wild. How cool is that? Horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal. They can see 360 degrees anytime because their eyes are located on both sides of their heads. And if you've ever seen a horse on video, through a picture, or in real life, you can tell how large their eyes are. And I like to compare them to like very large grapes. And since they are located to the side of their heads, they can see almost anywhere, 360 degrees. So that makes them very alert, and I find that a very cool fact. Research shows that horses can see better at night than humans, but they are weak at seeing purples and violets. So they have great night vision, but they can't really see purples or violets like we do. I think this is an interesting fact, one that I actually never known before. Horses usually rest for five hours every day. They can sleep both lying down and standing up. Now this is impressive because I need at least seven to eight hours of sleep, but these animals run on five hours every day while running for miles, probably, just running free in, on the landscape in wild. So I think that's just very impressive. Horses are very social animals. They usually live in herds and bond strongly with each other. They use their senses to identify familiar horses. And I find it so heartwarming and so relatable that these animals also have connections with their own kind. And I like to imagine horses also having like best friends and friends and friend groups and just other horses that they connect with because it reminds me that these animals are more similar to us than we think. Horses don't breathe through their mouth like humans because they just simply can't. So if you ever tried breathing through your mouth because you had a stuffy nose when you were sick or had a fever, horses can't do that because their mouths are constantly closed and they have like very large nostrils if you look at this image. So to me, it makes sense that they breathe through their nose at all times. Horses are herbivores. They eat a plant-based diet instead of meat. They eat grass, carrots, apples, hay, and grains. So despite being a herbivore, they eat a lot of things. They're, not only do they eat grass, they also have carrots, apples, hay, and also grains. So if you go to a stable with domestic horses, then they feed them a variety of foods um, and each horse has a different diet depending on their own habits and needs and i think it's so cool it's like building a little feast for them the average horse lifespan is between 25 to 30 years there are more than 50 million horses in the world so that's a lot of horses and i think it's super cool how there are so many of them and they all just run free either in the wild or in any stables and in any of the grass areas provided for them. Horses have been called the noblest of creatures. They are beautiful and special animals to humans. Enjoy a ride with them next time you get a chance. 
And I agree with this more than anything, because if you didn't know, a fact about me is I love horseback riding and I've been doing it for four years. And I think next time you have like a birthday planned, you might want to go check out some of the birthday parties at horse stables or any farms because they just help you establish such a beautiful connection with these animals. And I think it's totally worth it. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening in and learning about these beautiful animals. And make sure to tune in next time for more animals and more content where we can learn together and learn new information about everything in the world.